Hi everyone, welcome back to Camping Begins. Uh, today we've got um, a little bit of a different product unboxing. This is uh, a jockey wheel for the caravan, for the uh, caravan project. It's a motorised jockey wheel. It's called a, a Gen 2 Mini Mover. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically show you what this thing is, get it unboxed. I got this one from RV Online, shameless promo for them. Um, I'll put a link to it. I paid they're anywhere between about 420 to about anywhere up to about 500 dollars online so their price is 420 it's one of the cheapest i could find online i signed up for the 10 percent discount with the you know for the newsletter and all that and basically i got it down to 478 dollars and it came with free delivery you could pay for express delivery but i wasn't in a rush for it it's pretty much done my job for me on this box so um, basically if you look here um, it's a motorized trailer mover it's got uh, a move capacity of 2722 kilos uh, which in uh, American language is uh, 6,000 pounds uh, a load on the jockey wheel is a max of 500 K 500 kilograms which is well 498 sorry uh, which is 1100 pounds uh, it's a motorized DC 12 volt 550 watt motor it does seven meters a minute so it's not the fastest thing in the world just remember that this is about um, you know basically getting help moving the thing around rather than um, you know rather than uh, moving it fast it's basically so you can you know you can do it with one or two people rather than having lots of people to push the thing around um, it says it's got an integrated a380 reinforced aluminium frame it's got a weatherproof design, rust resistant, um, over current protection, and it's got a clutch function. So basically you can, from what I understand, you can undo the clutch and you can basically manually move it about rather than always having to use the motor. You can unclick the motor basically. Um, okay, I'll get this thing unboxed and bring the camera a bit closer. We'll see what we've got. Okay, so looks like unfortunately there's a, a lot of plastic packaging with this. Um, what have I got here? So I've got an instruction pack. We've got the oh, this looks like it's the the arm itself, or uh, I think it, I think they call it an arm with the switch on the on it. Ooh, a lot of polystyrene. I'll send that to the uh, recycling centre. Oh, we've got uh, the uh, the bracket to mount to the caravan. Some nuts and bolts and. Uh, oh, yeah, these little key things. We'll see what those are for. Controller cable. What is this? Oh, look at that. It comes with a uh, comes with a lock. Oh, that's great stuff. And then is that it? Oh yeah. So now we've just got the the wheel itself. This box was about 18 key, 18 point something kilos, I think it says on it. Let's get this out. There it is. So, like I said, that's everything we've got there. Yeah? I presume I need to sort of do some construction. A proper view of this. I wanted the black one, but they weren't. There was nowhere we had the black one on, on discount sale or anything. So, this is the lot of plastic. What can they do though? This is your clutch mechanism here, engaged. What's this say? Uh, free, free spool. And this says engaged, so that way off, that way on. Okay, simple enough. That's the jockey wheel up and down mechanism. I think this is where my arm's gonna go. Controller. Okay, let's get this. Oh yeah, that's where my controller fits. That's good. It's quite a. I don't know if you can see that, it's quite a, a thick rubberized, almost like an all wheel drive <laughs> uh, tyre that's on there. Big rubber tyre. You know, Nova winch it says on here. Look at that. I'm not going to unbolt those just yet. Uh, I don't think. Instructions. I'm not really an instruction guy, but. I don't think there's going to be much in Oh, it shows you how to clamp the thing. It's 
It's got instructions on mounting positions. Yeah, uh, instruction book. I'm gonna get this all together now, put it all, hopefully we can get it set up and give you a bit of a demo. Now, the instruction book, <laughs> the instruction book, nowhere in here, uh, double check if you get one and see if I'm wrong. Nowhere in here does it tell you how to construct this handle. So I've just had a quick test. We've got these bolts here. They look like the ones that are gonna go through the handle through these holes and these holes to make a full handle. Uh, they appear to be uh, eight mil, which is that M6? Uh, not entirely sure, but it's an eight mil spanner and it looks like it's a four mil Allen key head. Yeah, there we go, four mil Allen key or hex key. Um, so you're gonna need that. You're gonna need a, an eight millimeter spanner and you're gonna need a four millimeter um, hex key. Uh, yeah, very weird how it comes with those and those. Strange. I'll, I'll go through. Let's see. Uh, so this wire, this wire runs all the way through it. So I presume you're going to have to clamp this on here. I can't imagine what that's for. Okay, so this handle's built now. Um, we're gonna connect the handle to the wheel. So it looks like here they've given you've got two of these little I don't know T bolts or a locking a locking bolt. I think you only need one, but I think they've given us two. So what happens now is we've got to get this in here. I'll just show you in the top. Can you see this little T-shaped slot here? So I think we've got to get this in that hole. There's a thread on the underneath of that, and there's no thread on the top. So I reckon this goes in here, and then we put this in and screw that down so that this wheel's now locked in. Oh. It's got a spring mechanism on it. So you can actually sort of move it into alternate positions as you're as you sort of traveling I, su I suppose a little rubberized socket here this has got a cap on it three pins oh it's got a little look at that it's got a little lock on it like an old phono connector that's cool Now that that looks like it's constructed to me um okay I've, these fittings are obviously all to fit onto the caravan now i think i've got something like this on the caravan already so fingers crossed i can just clamp it on to the existing one um i still don't know what this is for it's a lock of some kind but i'll work that out it comes with a i think this is a 1.2 meter cable um so that i presume has got a connecting to here on the back edge where we've got this this is going to go in here like this red to red black to black and then I need to run this to a battery which I've got in the van already okay I've worked out what this is actually for now so uh, you've got to take this this must be a, a cover for maybe when you've got the lock off but basically where this clamps to the side of the caravan this is a, a, a barrel slot in here that's going to slot over oh maybe i'm in the wrong position let's try this comes with four keys that's pretty good into that position slide that all the way over turn the key and now i can't get that off so that means nobody can sort of unwind this wheel this you know um release this and in turn steal the jockey wheel so that's probably a good security feature four keys one padlock um yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna move up to the caravan now and let's um, get it connected. Okay, we're at the existing jockey wheel. I've got the new one here. Um, so I've just <laughs> balanced it on a step and a log. I've wound this up. This this jockey wheel is actually knackered. Hopefully, hopefully the new jockey wheel 
actually fits in this clamp because I think they're all, you know, roughly the same thickness of shaft or whatever. But this, gosh, this one's very old, isn't it? Sturd E, Sturd E wheel. That's gone. Let's see if we can, oh, like I said, they are quite heavy, these. Uh, I think, well, maybe I shouldn't have this handle in just yet, or not. I think we're in. Oh, you go, you can see it going. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Lifted off my log. It's on the new jockey wheel. Yeah, I heard someone say that this is a bit, but that might be why we can do that. Maybe I need to lift it more to get some clearance. The reason it's hitting this is because I've not, this isn't all clamped in yet. Now then, obviously this thing needs power, um, but I don't have any power in the caravan yet. Eventually there, there might be a small box on here, or we're going to run uh, some, we might, we might have a battery that lives inside and I put some connectors on the outside. But basically, <laughs> this is a, a friend of mine gave me this battery, it normally sits in the uh, Land Rover, but <clears throat> it's a King's 120 amp hour uh, deep cycle. I'm just going to sit it there for now. It's really heavy. I don't think it'll fall off. I don't think we'll we'll go fast enough. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, it's on the faces this way. So this is going to go in here. Oh. The problem is now is I don't think these will go in there. Uh, let me see if I can fit them in. See what sort of size these are. I think these are M. M8 might be an M8. I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, those won't go in. Do you know what I might do just for now is I might just chop the end of that out and use it like a, a hook one. Where's these? Oh, I don't need to take it out then, do I? I can just... I'm put, I will put like a... This will have an Anderson connector on it at some point. A proper permo connector. Oh yeah, here we go. There then, engaged. From, we'll turn the little switch on, little isolator switch. And then, you ready? So we've got a backwards and a forwards. Presume that. Okay, that's cool. Right, so let's turn the engaged. Ready? Oh. Pretty cool. So I'm going to roll it backwards to here first, mm -hmm. and I'm going to roll it up that way. Yeah? I've got to be careful of that back corner hitting the wall. So, I want to roll it backwards first. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to just shout you? you yeah, yeah, just tell me to stop. one of these leave a comment see what you think i think this is going to be good for me because it's only me and kirsten thanks guys see you next time <laughs>